street food. Georgia. What can I tell you about Georgia that you don't already know? It was originally populated by ex-convicts back in the colonial days, not super relevant. Georgia is the quintessential American Deep South. Although, if you spend any time in the South, you realize each region has its own characteristics. From Central Virginia to North Florida, right? The accents are different, the culture is different, the food is different, but the Southern states do have some similar lines that run through them. And let's all remember that stereotyping is dangerous, right? Like Atlanta, Georgia has a culture completely different from the small town I'm gonna show you today. Today, I'm taking you to Moultrie small town Georgia. My mother-in-law is from Moultrie, which is less than an hour north of Thomasville. So we're talking about southern Georgia here. Moultrie is a small town now. I can't imagine what it was like 50 years ago. One of the distinct features is the town square, basically the main downtown strip that runs around the courthouse. And the town square always has some kind of event going on. They light a Christmas tree. It's pretty much exactly what you might imagine when you think of a small southern town. As luck would have it, we visited Moultrie at the same time they were having a festival, which included a barbecue contest. What a fortunate confluence of events. The festival had a ton of activities. Stuff for the kids, some really scared zip liners. I thought this was a food truck, but it's a traveling aquarium. I paid $5 to sample six kinds of barbecue, but when they saw I was making a video, they gave me the other six to sample as well. My small town good people. It's free barbecue. Look, I'd be lying if I didn't say the flavors started running together, okay? But I cast my votes as best I could. Barbecue is a social thing. It's like a Hawaiian luau or a college pizza party. I mean, it's a social gathering, so it's essentially a big piece of meat. It takes a long time to cook. People gather around that, and the meat is like the center of the social gathering. That's a barbecue. Tell me about tea, dear. You must drink sweet tea. In fact, most places will only have sweet tea. <laughs> My parents choose where to eat lunch based around the quality of sweet tea. Yeah, I, this isn't that sweet, actually. I had a lot sweeter than this. This is pretty good. Yeah. Generally speaking, I think Southerners drink their tea way too sweet. I won't say that to their face. You might better not say it right here. Actually, I felt nervous saying it as loud as I did. I'm not a connoisseur of sweet tea. Really, we should talk to Brad and Ginger. How do you judge the quality of a sweet tea? Like, what are you looking for when you want a good tea? We're gonna go meet one of them. It's hard to describe. Okay, uh, you just know when you know like it. I don't like it really super sweet for uh -huh. one thing, and uh, it's got to be a little strong. I don't like really watered down tea. It's got to have good color to it. Can't be. I like sort of a darker color mm -hmm. so I can get more of the tea flavor. Okay, and sweet but not too sweet. Yeah, I call it half and half. A lot of people ask me what traditional American food is. It's not McDonald's, but what is it? I always say, you know, I like Italian, I like burritos, I like. Chinese food, none of which come from here. In the South, we eat a lot of casseroles. Are those American? Probably not. But one answer that I think is a pretty fair answer is barbecue. Most nations have their own take on slow-cooked meat, and they're all unique. So for my money, I'd say American barbecue is one answer, maybe the best answer, to the question of what is a traditional American food. How do you like your barbecue? Are you down with charcoal, or are you a South African braai wood-only purist? Maybe you're an Argentine classic off-the-knife-only barbecue enthusiast. Chinese skewers, anyone? Yeah, I know things about regional barbecue. How do you like your barbecue? Let me know in the comments below. Next week, our final entry in season seven. I hope you'll join me for the finale. Until then, keep eating it on the street. Watching out for those parasites. Street food. <laughs>